Okay, here we are. I got the two servos mounted. And I got my control rods pushed in place here. Now, since this is going to be the rudder, I'm going to put this servo in here, this wire. See, we've got okay. So, oh, come on, there we go. Okay, so I've got the wires connected here to the servos. It's going to control the up and down, and the left and right here, and the right or the tail. Now, my rods don't touch. I'm going to look at the back here, right, well, I might see an issue here, see where I cut the hole, I think I'm going to have to make this hole a little bigger to accommodate for these. Now I'm going to mark our parts out now, and remember I haven't glued the elevator or rudder on. So, I'm going to mark these, and then we'll mount them on later. So, I guess I shouldn't do that. I should get a grip on the uh, wire and mount these ends on here. Because they are going to go here. side and it doesn't really matter on this setup you got it on nice and firm because it's adjustable here and there okay we have two adjustment points here in the plane and back there so yeah it's not gonna work very good so I'm going to have to make that hole a little bit bigger to accommodate for, I made it too high, let my silver rod a little freer up this way. So before I go any further, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, oh, isn't that not nice. I'm going to take this off and take this rod back out. And then I'll get the drill wall, we'll make that hole bigger. And we'll be right back and put this thing together. Okay, so I got a servo horn, made the hole a little bigger. I got the rod in nice, I got a servo horn on. You see, I've got it measured there in the wing. Can you see that? Where is it? Right there. Right. Now I'm going to set some holes in that. Now I want it to match the angle of my rod. Right. And have it so it doesn't bind. Okay, so there we go. I've got one hole in. Two holes. I'm going to take this off. <coughs> oh, what the hard! I drill the third hole when I'm here. They're going really easy. Easy you can use your Dremel, but man, you slip with the Dremel. It really goes through on those. Okay, so there's one plate here. And we need the screws to go through that. And then go into this. And everybody always finds these 
things. We're gonna drill them out a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Just to help the screw get started. Surprising. But a little screw here. First hole. Get this thing on here. Well, I'm gonna put all the screws in first, and then we'll put this on. Well, these screws they give me are really long. We'll have to trim them off afterwards. Okay. Must be difficult. Well, we'll just screw it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, that's probably a reason why I should take these things apart. So, now. I am done. I'm going to do my rudder first. So the rudder wires go up. Let's get an end on there. video sure make it easy to wind into those ends okay so now we need another servo horn that comes in the kit well, I just can't believe how much throw it is okay so hmm Okay, so as far as this is going, you see, again, I drove this hole in the wrong spot. They didn't have any instructions, and I think I'll be able to fix it, but I have to come this way a bit so that I can get my servo horn to go up higher. I get my connection here. I want it on the outside. I want as very little travel as possible on this. So I want it on the outside so we can have the most torque and least travel. So I have to go to the Dremel and make this hole a little bit bigger. I'll be right back. Made the hole bigger. Well, here I am back now. Now let's see. Connect that on the very outside. And wow, I still have to go some more, you guys. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. Oh well. I'll take it back and do a little more. I'll be right back.